人がそうなる場合正義かどうかじゃない誰もが恐れと不安に負けそうで理想を貫け何が正しいのかわからない全ての始まりはあなたの持つ小説幻想はただの絵空事なんかじゃない OK then Atlas finally revealed their fantasy RPG by the creators of Persona after years of complete radio silence, and there's a lot to unpack here. If you don't know, way back in 2016, the director of Persona 5 announced Project Re Fantasy by his newly formed team of Persona veterans, and we literally never saw anything from the game since. Years later, it has now been revealed as Metaphor Re Fantasio, and yes, that is probably one of the worst titles I've ever heard for a video game, so it fits in with most JRPGs perfectly. I've been really anticipating this game for a long time because the people behind it have made some of the best RPGs ever, and seeing their take on a fantasy game is super exciting because that's my favorite kind of setting. I think this game could be a big deal and should be on more people's radar because it looks really good and these are the same people who brought you Persona 3, 4, and 5, the same director, same composer, and same character designer, so my expectations are very high. And you know what, I don't usually like it when people make reductive comments about a new IP saying something like, oh it just looks like a fantasy Persona. But in this case, it actually looks like a fantasy persona. That's clearly what they're going for here. The art style is pretty much the same as the persona style, complete with the anime cutscenes, and the gameplay we've seen so far looks extremely similar to Persona 5. We start off with some typical cataclysmic events you expect from a JRPG, complete with kings and evil dudes as expected. And then we see the main character here, and if you look very closely, you might notice that he has blue hair, because the law of anime says there has to be at least one character with blue hair in it. After that, we get a lot of actual gameplay. We see a sort of overworld map to choose what area you want to go to, and the game appears to have a calendar system looking at the UI, and it even keeps track of the time of day. So the game is clearly applying Persona's familiar gameplay loop of time management and calendar. Under progression to a fantasy setting. And speaking of the UI, even the pause menu is awesome looking with this really nice artwork. This studio literally makes the best pause menus in existence. That seems to be what they excel at. There's even social links in the game. You can see it here where the main character shakes a bunch of people's hands. It looks like they're called Bonds this time around, and there seems to be eight ranks to them, so there's definitely going to be a ton of characters to meet and hang out with in the game, which is awesome to see. The exploration is shown off, and we see the main character exploring slums, wide city streets, and going across great distances with a ship. So the game might actually have a bigger world than we might expect. But the trailer really gets interesting when we see the battle system, which looks exactly like Persona 5's battle system. They're really wearing their inspiration on their sleeves right here. There's a few characters we see in the party menu, and they actually have different classes next to their names, which is honestly really exciting because that might mean the game could have a dynamic class system. And if you look very closely, you will see that this game features an annoying talking animal sidekick because it is a JRPG, and JRPGs must have at least one of these little bastards. But more importantly, it looks like there's some kind of persona like system in the game called Archetypes. We see these armored knight looking figures next to each character, and we see the character using them similar to a persona with different spells. So I'm interested in seeing more of how that works. There also appears to be combo moves called Synthesis, where two characters can attack together, kind of like Chrono Trigger, and I'm interested in seeing how deep that mechanic goes as well. There's also other RPG mechanics, including skill point allocation, quests, and convoluted political plot lines. Honestly, the game looks pretty badass. The exploration makes the world seem huge, and the battles look awesome. You can fight demons and dragons in this game. I mean, just look at that. And we don't even know how much customization there is, so they could really surprise us. I'm really excited for this game, and I feel like more people should look into it. I think it's gonna be really big. It looks like it's gonna be kinda like Dragon Quest meets Persona, with the best elements of both, making for a really solid fantasy RPG, and I'm all for that. I definitely can't wait to hear more about it. If you enjoyed hearing me go on about Metaphor Re Fantasio, you should definitely check out my thoughts on the upcoming Persona 3 remake right here. I think you'll definitely enjoy it. I'll see you there.